Hey guys, welcome back to another tarot reading and this one will be on the topic what's their impression of you? So this can be love interest, doesn't have to be crush partner, ex-partner, whoever. Uh, so pick one of these verbs and we will check it out. So we have one, pal one, clean, pal two and open, pal three. So want, clean, open. Pick one of these and we will see. Let's start with this one. What's their current impression of you? What's their current impression? What's their impression? For a lot of you, you have somebody here who feels like you are unfazed that things ended with them, that you aren't hearing from them with this here reversed card. Uh, and they are really shocked about how, uh, how unstressed you are, how chill you seem to them. So this person is basically, what's your secret to being constantly so nonchalant, constantly so... Uh, how do I say, uh, Wu Wei, you know, uh, principle, where you basically live your life effortless. So, yeah, so people feel, or this person feels like you are basically done giving, done over giving, with Six of Pentacles reversed. Uh, if you have no returns in a situation, in a connection, in whatever it is, this person feels like you won't indulge it any longer. It's almost like you elevated standards for some of you with this card above. They feel like you elevated your standards because you started some type of creative project, new passion, hobby, uh, or something else that's just giving you this huge self-esteem boost. So... People feel like you aren't currently with this sand reversed that you aren't currently really uh, open for talking, for communication in general, or for a kind of uh, rapid exchange of uh, ideas and information with this sleep mode. They feel like you are currently on uh, some type of voluntary uh, pause phase of your life where you do just the necessary in a way. But I'm getting that this could be a misconception for a lot of you. Uh, I don't know why it's coming this way. So, some people could be feeling like you're not contacting them, contacting them uh, out of fear of the rejection, especially people with whom you had some type of negative uh, previous experiences, especially in romantic connections. But they almost feel like with this four of cups rever reversed that you seize each and every opportunity except in love or except uh, except with them. So uh, it is interesting. With the nine of cups reversed, people could be feeling like you're having a little bit too much of booze, of nice food, of uh, sensory uh, pleasures. Uh, that you are kind of really indulging these days. So, it is interesting. And people's overall feeling is that you have kind of, with the moon in Aries, grown kind of impulsive in a way. Uh, 
you won't suffer anybody or anybody's temperament, behavior, whatever it is. So, some people could be feeling like you are a clean freak. I don't know why this is coming up. So, we have the Mercury in third house. People could be feeling like you are more active in social media uh, than with the real people for some of you. And they could also be feeling that you have very engaging and curious and funny social media. Because Mercury is humor, you know, and third house is our platforms in a way. So, people, people could be feeling like you elevated your fancy side in a way. Uh... Yeah, and with the Mars in Taurus, they just have this overall vibe of you standing up more for yourself, saying what's important to you and uh, which necessities and rule can be broken, can be broken in order to be with you in a way. So we do have Saturn in Scorpio. Some people could be feeling like you have isolated in order to recover from something for a little while. But they also feel like you are so heroic in your struggles in whatever you have overcame in a way. Because Scorpion, Scorpionic energy is sudden, uh, unpredictable events in our life that shake, uh, that shake the core of our being. So uh, basically it's our type of energy. Okay, but if you like this small report, give it a small like so that it reaches more people. And people also feel like you have beautiful home to you, there's something to your inner home decor, or that it looks uh, very lavish uh, or luxurious is what I'm sensing, because Venusian energy will get give that feminine touch to uh, the harmony of furniture and everything in your home. So, and with the sun in sixth house, some people could be feeling that you could have issues with father or like father figures for some of you, father wound or uh, romantically father issues. So this is something interesting and that this could translate to your connection with men uh, for some, not for all, of course. Yeah, but also with Mercury in third house, people just feel like you're so knowledgeable and smart when you speak and they feel like you're, they always attain new understanding about various subjects. So, with the Taurus in eighth house, some people could, could be noticing if you change some exercise regime for your backside, butt area, perhaps it's looking better toned or... Uh, you may have improved something or you may be wearing clothes that uh, fit you in a more proper way so yeah and people just feel like you really take your time to make a decision that you aren't rushed or stressed about anything anything specific so with the nine of cups reversed they feel like you realized your dreams and aspirations long ago and basically whatever uh, you live now is a bonus so uh, bonus to the rest of your life in a way one of the rare people that have already achieved what they uh, planned for their life with the ace of swords reverse people could be having this impression for some of you that you have like short attention span or concentration difficulties or uh, concentration difficulties caused by excess overthinking type of energy so uh, people feel like you are well traveled and really very focused on, at your, on your work currently you know and that you hide that you are actually pretty wealthy by now or something they are most definitely sure that you aren't in a heartache over something that has ended. So, 
you have people out there wondering have you ever really loved them have you ever loved the cooperation with them in a business sense or if these are your colleagues for example or however it is so yeah but i'm ending here uh, for the first file i hope you guys enjoyed this small report uh, if you did see in the next one bye bye For those who chose this open, what's their impression? What's their impression? What's their impression? So, for a lot of you, people feel like you are very open and transparent person and that there's something about your energy, about your aura that easily opens others, is what I'm sensing. And then they could also be feeling that you are this receiver of gifts for some reason. Some people could be thinking like whether you have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama, do you have somebody who provides you with beautiful clothes or labeled kind of things. So you have an air of upper class about you. Uh, and especially for those of you who used to be humbler in your appearance or whatever people wonder what's the secret to your level up game, to your bossing up. So, with the page of wands reversed and eight of cups reversed, people feel like you are this person who easily abandons situations where you are not treasured correctly. So, uh, it's almost like you are this type of a person who requires an absolute worshipping from their partner but simultaneously you will also provide the same for them so uh, it's kind of mutual thing with you so people feel like you are very fair and instinct uh, and very firm about your preferences and the way you demand uh, people to treat you and they really respect this about you is what I'm sensing so, if you started some type of a project or a hobby lately, people feel like you're very assertive about your goals, especially those with platforms, especially you guys with YouTube or content creating in some way, because I have Magician, which for me signifies YouTube platform is coming up strongly uh, for some reason. But doesn't have to only be this one. Uh, yeah, but it's almost like with the page of once reversed. People feel like you're somebody so charismatic and you can be so gallant in complimenting others and everything. But you also know when to uh, withdraw and take away that intention, take away that praising. You won't, you know, you won't be somebody who will just. Uh, give compliments undeserved in a way so your attention your admirations your uh good graces toward the others have to be deserved and uh 
people kind of know when you compliment them, them that it's authentic type of thing that you are coming from the right place in a way then you also have this impression of a great humanitarian person somebody who always strives to help uh, elevate society in some type of way so I'm getting some of you have especially good heart toward the older people uh, you know so there is something correlated to that and for the others people just feel like you're this person who really treasures the connections with your elder members of your family so it is interesting and then we have this trend reversed people kind of feel that you aren't somebody who will uh, exploit other people's weaknesses uh, with the ten of wands clothes so even if you do notice that somebody I don't know has gained some kilos or uh, aren't in the best uh, best of outfits that you have seen them or whatever it is you will you will be very gallant in not emphasizing that so and people really feel like you're just hard, so hard working all the time that your life is a constant stream of responsible decisions and events which kind of somehow always directly or indirectly elevate your life with the understand reverse people admire how your mind and brain works but they feel like there are a lot of things that they don't understand about you about your past about your behavior i'm hearing psychological patterns I'm hearing there's a psychologist or person knowledgeable in psychology wanting to decipher and you decipher you and you are like one of the rare people that they can't really uh, how do I say they can't really um, they can't study you the way that they can do with the other personalities uh, Perhaps you aren't really fit to any MBTI or any horoscope sign or whatever. Uh, you're just so very unique and uh, somehow standing out. So there is that. But people just feel like you have these perfect manners, uh, almost upper class manners to you somehow. Uh, there's, some, there's something very cordial about you, about your behavior, about how you treat others. Then I do have this Mercury in Capricorn. Yeah, so just a lot of tangible type of knowledge to you. Uh, people feel like you pursue practical things, things that can somehow, that you can uh, utilize for your life is what I'm sensing. So. People feel like business casuals really look awesome on you, is what I'm sensing. So, we do have the South Node here. Yeah, so there's just element of past, of being Genshin. There's something about you, perhaps about your appearance or way of conduct, that just looks like it's from old times, or golden times, or however... Uh, I'm hearing even Victorian era for some, and all the excessive uh, polite behavior, behavior, but they kind of dig it in a way, so, yeah, people feel like you can uh, kind of apply uh, aggression should situation require or demand, but that you are very moderate about that and measured, uh, and it's really it's really you lash out if you are absolutely provoked so uh, people kind of know their boundaries with you but they also are safe to say that you won't expose them to some type of unreasonable uh, anger issues or whatever it is some people feel like you have 
some type of intimidating factors related to your eyes is what I'm sensing. People feel like you're all attention, all your chi, all your energy is being poured into your work currently for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why, but for this pile I'm getting, it's almost like you're deceased, granddad, grandma is wanting to come true and that say that they are really apologetic for something, so... I'm getting that somebody had to hear that message, that they want you to forgive them. Uh, strange that it came out in this reading, but... Uh, they wish you didn't know something, or... Uh, yeah, they would would really really love if they had the ability to change the past to change some time some type of opinion of yours and them yeah but returning back uh to the topic people just feel like you're full of zest full of energy and uh especially when it comes to researching your favorite topics and subjects and uh I'm even getting you really study the art of detachment for some of you. Perhaps you're into Zen philosophies. Perhaps you read Osho books and things like that. Where uh, he really taught his disciples how to not to be attached to the material world. People feel like you have a lot of spiritual philosophy that made you kind of protected from all kinds of events in your life. That's their impression. And for some reason people see you really in this strong author authoritative vibe. Uh, you're just so very commanding of uh, respect to them. So I'm getting for the majority of you, you will dig it, this. Yeah, but I'm gonna end it here uh, for the second pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Clean for this pile. What's people impression on you? What's people impression? People's impression. Hearing to pull one more as a clarifier. What's people in? People's impression. So, people's impression is that you're somebody constantly chased, uh, that you have more than enough romantic admirers, that if somebody got into a relationship with you, they would really have to... <coughs> Sorry, guys. That they would really have to claim their territory with you in a way and to be really protective physically. Uh, and emotionally to show to the other potential suitors that you are theirs. So, uh, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, 
people could be feeling like you improved your financial uh, condition so you almost like transcended some type of financial difficulty or you are on the path of doing so so Uh, people just feel like you can do just anything. We have this repair fix, which is really giving me the handyman, handy woman uh, type of vibe. So you could be one of those rare people who, when something gets uh, broken in your home, you kind of you can YouTube it and fix it by yourself. You are a believer of you know saving money on. Uh, doing things yourself instead of calling an electrician and things like that well not electrician but plumber or whatever uh, if you can fix it by yourself you will but then we have like reverse so when I'm getting with this one people just feel like like you don't like a lot of people and those that you do uh, feel really acknowledged and, acknowledged and appreciated and special because they were kind of in a way the chosen ones so um, not everybody can be in your company in your presence in your uh, I'm hearing aura of success around you uh, that's almost like dessert for your uh, closest people so people somehow feel if they get closer uh, to you, you your success will, will radiate on them and uh, it's almost like if they spend more time with you, they will become more successful in life. So, some people could f be feeling that you have this, uh, not having a home type of lifestyle or everywhere is your home or the type of career and lifestyle that isn't per se attached to one place. So... People could be having this impression that you come from quite a stern and rigid background uh, when it comes to family, when it comes to the values that they instilled in you and uh, patterns of behavior that they expected in a way. So, yeah, with Saturn in second house, a lot of traditionality and restriction. So... Uh, so second house, in a way, in Vedic astrology, is both our own family and family that we create with our spouses. So some people could be feeling like you will be that eternal uh, bachelor, bachelorette, you know, type of a personality. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people have this impression that not even the biggest name uh, names than themselves were able to tie you down so it's like how how will they uh, unsingle you basically so a lot of people want, unsing want to unsingle, unsingle you and uh, lock you down in a commitment in a relationship so people could be feeling like you had a relatively easy life or that some things just uh, how do I say karmically aligned for you without a lot of effort on your uh, part with the six of pentacles reversed and five of cups reversed getting even if you make a mistake or something due to being like karma's favorite child or something you're always protected you always end up uh, winning somehow so People would, could be feeling the night of wands and this win that you are quite athletic, good in sports. So we have a little spider here. So your senses could be sharp, uh, you know. So it's almost like people could be wondering about your uh, spiritual senses besides these physical ones, you know. Uh, you could be a lover of hand watches, wrist watches as well. People could be feeling like they look really nice on you, is what I'm sensing. For a lot of you, you could be somebody often seen in your formal attire, uh, and people dig this in a way. 
they kind of always feel that you have some type of important mission to solve with the Rahu in Taurus people feel like you have uh, an abundant life or that you have more fixed assets is what I'm sensing and with the Jupiter in first house yeah just the child of luck things align stars align for you uh, with the Cancer in fifth house uh, people feel like even your flings let's say you have a one night stand or whatever as with somebody that person ends up falling in love with you for some reason uh, and that you even in your flings could be slightly spiritual in a way see it as like holy exchange or whatever so it's almost like there's this profound sense of instilling spirituality in whatever you do even in some lower activities with the moon in 8th house people feel like you're just very sexual for some of you they could be wondering whether you are promiscuous or what or like whether you had a lot of partners because moon in 8th house kind of uh, finds his sense of inner peace and satisfaction in you know sexual affairs in uh, secret meetings and bedroom pleasures with the others so uh, there is an element that people feel like you have strong kundalini energy and sexuality and uh, strong sex appeal as well and with the Mars in Virgo uh, a lot of people see you as somebody who is promoter of healthy life healthy way of eating uh, trying to improve your life and work on yourself. I'm he hearing some social workers or uh, advocates for social various social classes with this Mars in Virgo or advocates for like protection of animals against testing and things like that. And you are intense and passionate about almost anything. Even with this Scorpio and fifth house, you are intense about your hobbies, about your pastime. With the Gemini in uh, tenth house, uh, people just feel like you bring in some youthfulness, giddiness, uh, versatility in your career or profession field. So uh, there is that uh, unique spice that makes your creations, uh, dealings with customers, products, whatever it is, uh, kind of more endearing, more uh, closer to people's hearts. There's something uh, about your approach being more humane and uh, people easily relate to you so they feel like you're somebody quite relatable. Uh, and very naturalistic also so you could be promoter of raw beauty and uh, being as original as possible so like you know no excess makeup and things like that if you are a tarot reader people just love your readings they feel uh, like you are one of the readers that they connect on a most profound level and you know that they really feel your words your expressions that you really get them through your readings or whichever form of divination if you are doing and for the others it will just correlate uh, with your ability to make people feel heard and understood in a way yeah, but I'm gonna end it here for the third pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.